Hello again, welcome to Peter's Marine Service. Here's another new addition to our pre-owned lot, a 2001 Baja 272 Boss. This boat is a very popular boat back in the late 90s, early 2000s and beyond. Uh, we've been a, a Baja dealer since 1997 and this has been a perennial good seller for us, this particular model. What makes it so nice is it's deep hull, good water characteristics in rough water, and also the fact that you get a windshield on this particular model. I'll point that out when we get inside. But more on this particular boat, uh, this boat was locally owned here in eastern Pennsylvania. I know it has Delaware registration on there, but this is a local owner freshwater boat, and you're not going to believe this, 35 hours on the engine. Very little time, very little use, so there's a lot of opportunity here for somebody on this particular boat. Sitting on an aluminum I-beam Eagle trailer, with spare wheel and tire located up here. So it's a nice, nice looking trailer underneath the boat, complements it very well. As you come down this side of the boat here, you might be able to get a look at the gloss that's coming off the side of the boat. It's got a lot of depth to the gel coat here, with one exception that the, the colors seem to have washed out a little bit, but I think a little bit of elbow grease will bring that right back because there's a lot of potential with the gloss that you can probably see me in here on the side of the boat. As I mentioned, it's a 272 Boss, which means it's a 27-foot boat. This boat shares a similar footprint in the water to the very popular 25 Outlaw. This one has more of a European styling to it with the rounded edges, integrated swim platform here on the back, and again, as I mentioned, the windshield, which I'll show you shortly. This boat's powered with a 496 Mag HO, which means it's got 425 horsepower. Uh, this, it's a closed cooled system engine, which I'll show you as well when we get inside. Bravo One Outdrive. Dual ram trim tabs here on the back of the boat give you a lot of added performance if you get into some rough water. And that's where a boat like this really excels. You get this boat out into some chop, get some air under the hull, the boat gets up and it goes. And it's a nice ride as well. Up on the back of the boat here, you can see the spacious swim platform here on the back. Ski tow eye located here also. And a couple other nice features in the back here. We have a, a uh, fresh water spray down here. With uh, the tank is located inside the boat. Stainless steel pop-up cleats right here. So it, that pops up nice and easily right when you want them. Once in the boat here, you can see the swim uh, the sun pad here on the back. The nice thing about Baja is the integrated colors inside. This one's got a nice combination here of red, purple, and yellow, and they integrate that right into the upholstery. So it's a very custom look to the whole sun pad here. Once inside the boat, you can see the amount of room that we have here. You can easily sit four people across the sun pad here. Aero drop-down bolsters and uh, nice upholstery. Uh, again, outside of it, maybe just showing some age from sitting, there's no cuts, there's no tears in the upholstery. The carpet is in outstanding condition, and that's a lay-in custom carpet that's right there as well. The nice thing about these aero drop-down bolster seats is that they are, they encompass your body when you're sitting right here. It's very comfortable. When you're sitting at the helm, you can kind of wedge yourself right in here. But if you want to really hit the water and and go fast, you can drop these things down. Now you can kind of wedge yourself into the bolster here and uh, really kind of ride with the waves. Uh, it's a nice, nice riding, nice driving position. I mentioned about the windshield. What's nice about the windshield is if you, if you didn't want your, to be in the wind all day long, this kind of sets the wind up over your head so you can, uh, you can get out of the wind if you wanted to. Uh, nice for families. We sold this model boat to a lot of family boaters just for that reason. Nice performance boat, but hey, you can take the family along with. Gaffrey controls here give you separate shift and throttle for that sport boat feel right here. I mentioned the dual ram trim tabs. You have indicators right here to let you know where they're at, right at, the, right at your fingertips here. Depth finder, compass located up on the top. Custom bezel matched gauges located there as well on a nice, uh, nice framework here for the dash panel. It's got that carbon fiber look to the whole thing. All your, in, all your gate, uh, switches rather, are all here, right easy to get to for your drive and your trim, right here, right at your fingertips. Even on the passenger side, the port side, features the drop-down bolster as well, so everybody can enjoy the ride. AM FM CD player is here, and again, as I point these things out, I'll note inside the boat, 
very, very good condition, as you would probably expect from 35 hours on the boat. In the cabin, well, actually, before I do that, I want to show you the, the ease of getting up on the deck. Uh, this boat features an anchor locker up on the very bow of the boat, where some of the other performance boats did not, and a textured surface and a grab handle to get up there. To get up onto the deck, it's very easy. This opens up very easily, and you see that you do have some steps here in which to get up. So it makes it very easy to hop up onto the deck. You can see how gracefully that can be. In the cabin, getting in the cabin is very easy. Just back right in. And once inside here, you can see that you have two opposing sofas. So if you got caught in some inclement weather, you have a place you can kind of hang out a little bit. Again, not used at all. The, the interior is in very good condition. There's no no cuts, tears, anything uh, doesn't look used at all. One thing you will note is the, the headliner, which would need some uh, reattaching up to the deck. Boat comes with a lot of other things. Uh, you have plenty of storage underneath the compartment inside here, where included are lots of life vests, some uh, ski rope, never out of the package, brand new skis there as well. Uh, also, if you wanted to put a porta potty in the boat, there are mounts in here that could easily fit inside here as well to really expand the boating on this particular boat. Plus, there's also storage underneath the seats here on both sides. As far as space up in here, if you wanted to use this boat for overnighting, gosh, you sure could. There's plenty of room up here. Get an idea how much space that you do have. One, one thing I'm going to point out right outside here is the engine compartment. And the lid opens up with the push of a button. Engine hatch, push the button, and the lid opens up neatly. Inside here we have a 496 mag HO, as I mentioned outside. Again, our service department has gone over everything. Uh, we checked out the engine, we went over the, uh, the trailer to make sure everything uh, is in working order. So we, we have done that to give you some peace of mind. Uh, inside here you see the, uh, looks like about an eight gallon container for your spray water on the back of the boat. Extra storage on the port side as well. There you'll find an anchor and whatnot. Uh, many things go with this particular boat. One thing I'll point out, too, is underneath this aft seat, you have more storage. And back here we have, I put the cockpit cover back in here. There's some extra vests and a throw cushion. And there's a full cover for the boat as well. So a lot of extras go with this. If a 272 is on your shopping list, give us a call or stop by and see this one. Certainly worth putting on your list. And we'd love the opportunity to talk to you a little bit more about it. Again, my name is Ted with Peter's Marine Service. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon.